morning welcome to the channel as you can see I've been busy that's right and I've been up working about an hour but here's what we got so far if you see my other channel I put a little sneak peek preview in here we're getting the cedar in place I'm gonna do the walls first then we'll go to the ceiling uh, that will tell me uh, how far I need to pull down the metal or put up the metal you'll see when I get there but now this color although it looks really reddish this will fade to what that is in probably six months time to a year so right now it's really strong smelling uh, moved over here to this wall in case anybody asked yes I am leaving a gap for the uh, vinyl plank flooring that is not what I'm putting in here that is what I put in the office I had leftover pieces so I'm putting those down when I put the baseboards on so I got enough room to get up in there and we've got the top one up now this one I've got I'm gonna go cut this piece and then I'm gonna put a piece all the way here and then we're gonna start framing out this door jam uh, this will be cedar in here as well and then framed in cedar so Hopefully I have enough cedar. If not, I can order some more. Whoop, sorry about my fingers. Uh, I hooked the microphone up to this because I am not happy with the sound. It's uh, just not loud enough with just the camera alone. It's the only complaint I have on this DJI, but the images, the video quality is way, way better than the GoPro. So I'm happy with that, but I just hooked up my roads. I was hooking it up wrong. I made a whole video once and I had the road hooked up with a special cable that you needed that I thought I needed but it's just a USB-C hooked to this to the microphone it works good all right let's go outside to see my setup and then I'm gonna cut that piece I already forgot the measurement because here I am messing with you guys ah, this place is a utter mess I can't get in my kitchen that's why I want to finish this wall so I get this table pulled back out of my kitchen and this room as well is a mess so let's see I could have swore I already got a piece of cedar out but I guess not so I'm just well, well I'll bring you out here when I cut the next piece and show you what's going on I got my saw horses you can see I've been working got sawdust everywhere all that will get used yeah it'll get used all right I've been racking my brain this morning. Uh, I didn't think very well when I put these uh, slats across to nail to screw these two. I didn't think about spacing. So what I'm going to probably run into is <laughs> I don't know, man. We're just going to have to wing it and see what happens. I don't know. I need to get a piece up there too. But I'm going to find an old piece that'll match that. All right, enough yakking. Let's get going. And guys, 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 girls, girls, girls. That link to that fan is in the first video I did with that fan. Now, if you ain't watching all my videos, well, then you ain't getting the link. You have to go back and watch that video or look in the description. But uh, I must have had 15, 20 people ask where I got the fan. Amazon, man, where does anybody get anything anymore? Amazon. But I put the link in that. So you you want to get you one there? I got that. I got I clicked on that on a day where there was a big discount. I got it for eighty five bucks, but it, right now I think it's one hundred nine. They may have some coupons. I don't know. This is not a sponsored product. It's just something I got on there and bought. So I'm not making any money off of it. But it is cool, and we do need to put the fan on right now because it's getting a little warm in here. I like it, and I did get it straightened out where it's level now. All right, I got to get to work. All right, first thing I do is these are six inches, a little bit over. So I'm going to set my saw right at six inches. Those are about a six and an eighth. And I'm going to make my first cut to square these off.
Now I'm going to move it to five and three quarters. Put a locker down. Saw horses. Let's turn you all around. Now, none of the edges are square. I mean, this is rough cut lumber. So that's the first thing you want to do. Get to a nice square edge and drop everything. Yep. So I'm going to take my square, come to the edge here. First cut never goes well. And just take some sandpaper. That edge smooth. Alright. I don't I don't have a measurement. So I don't know where to cut. I forgot it. I gotta go get it. Be right back. 83 and 7 eighths. my whisk broom. Can't write on sawdust. Ah. <laughs> oh, I was going to take a nap, but nope. Hey now. 83 and 7 eighths. It's the magic number. And I'll make a mark. Or I'll make a mic. Why do I gotta make a mark? Why can't I make a mic? Alright. Cut that to length. Line up my saw blade. I do have a good chop saw. Probably be a lot easier. But I'm just too lazy to dig it out of there. There's too many e-bikes in there. Yeah. All right, get this sanded smooth and whisk it off. Flick it over, whisk it off. Now, I need to look at this and see which side looks the nicest. <sighs> this is just too much red. This has got a little more white color in it and greens. It's got these nice knots on the end. I'm going to go with that. All right, let's go in and set this dude. All right, usually I use my brad nailer for this stuff. But on trim or on, on like on this, I'm just using screws. Now, if this was older cedar, the, the screw as soon as the screw went in it would split it but on this newer stuff that's more green it doesn't want to do that now if i got a little gap like that let me flip this dude over i got it on yeah i got it on the right side let me flip it over i want the gap to be on the bottom and then uh i just want it tight up there so that looks pretty good and square like I say, the gap on the bottom. And this stuff's probably going to shrink up. There's nothing you can do about that. You have to cut it to the right length or you won't get it in there. So, maybe a year down the road I'll go by with some caulk. I won't. <laughs> you, but, you know, if you was professional, you'd probably want to use some caulk or something. So, let me get some screws. I made a discovery the other day. Wish I would have known years ago. The hardware store... 
hey now, in Mina, which is a half hour away, and I'd go there to Walmart anyway, is $2 a box cheaper for screws than they are at my local hardware store. These were $6.99. It's more like $8.99 there. So, and I looked around their store. They got a heck of a choice, and uh, prices are better. I still support my local hardware store, but these days, man, you got to save money where you can. All right, let's get this piece hung. And uh, I'm not worrying about, I am putting a level on the top one and the bottom ones. If I know those are level, these will be what it is. These will be square. All right. Let me get up here and get the screw started and then I'll lift up on it. There should be a stud right here. All right, lift it up. Ah, really wasn't. Well, that didn't go in like I wanted. I'm not putting but two or three screws in them. One in the middle, one on the ends. Usually the studs are over on the ends. That dude ain't going nowhere. No how. No way. One in the bottom. And I think... Ah! That hurt. Why'd you splinter me? I've been so good to you, Post. Can't trust a post as far as you can throw a post. Right. Put one in down here. And there we have it. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Now I just get a good measurement here. You know what, I may, I may wait on that. I'm going to make sure I got enough to do what I got to do. What is wrong? Why are you sticking? Oh, don't you dare break on me. This is the only tape measure I got. Oh, if you just be gentle with it. You know, if you're on here, hey man, and it ain't coming out. It ain't coming out at all. Must be broke. We're just going to move on. All right, guys, I'll come back in a little while. Well, that's how I'm doing it, okay? See, I'm the cedar, cedar dude right now today. Oh, Jesus just left Chicago. Heading down to New Orleans. Oh. Alexa was jamming some good stuff. I ain't talking to you. Can a man just say your name without you going off on some sort of spiel? Oh, Lord. All right, getting some door trim. I'm cutting these at three inch. Because I want to. Right about there. Now you're asking, why ain't you 45 angling that? I got one good reason why. Because everybody else does. I got a better idea. Is that okay? A better idea? You just wait and see. I'm trying to get some work done. All right. Get that out a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. Right there. But you ain't gonna hold still while I go get a screw and a drill and all that good junk. Now let me get a couple screws. These gold screws kind of do okay. They look, they blend in a little bit. All right, we know we got a stud there. Get my drills ready. Get out of here, tape measure. Gotta get everything ready because I got only got two hands, man. All right, let's get this back where I needed it. Now I've got a piece of uh, piece of this down there on the floor rather than that, because I just do. That is a not exactly the cleanest thing to go off of. Want to get it close, you know? I 
am pre-drilling these. Just, ah, hang on. Canner sink. Yeah, you can barely see those. All right, let's get another one in. I'm gonna have to cut that with something. That's that bead board. There we go. See the hole! There it is. I should bust out the compressor and then thread nailer. Nah, too lazy. Alright, now I'll go down there and get that one. Let's get the point. I'll come back when I lay that piece on. It's gonna be unique. Well, not unique, but different. And this bird you cannot change. Yeah, this board's a little thin. This is one of the free pieces that he gave me. It's not as thick, but uh, you can't see it. It's in the corner. All right, do I need a ladder? I do. See, that's kind of like my shed is. The windows on my shed have that it's not cookie cutter 90 degree angle stuff. All right, put this on the old belt. Why didn't you wear a shirt with pockets? Yeah, let's put one there. Let's put one there. It would help if I had the right bits. These are metal bits. They're not the right ones. But they work, and that didn't go into nothing. We'll see. Oh! I wanted to go about an inch over and then do my 25 degree angle, but I don't got that liberty over here. So that's how it had to be. And that's how it is. And that's how it'll always be. Well, that didn't go into nothing. Neither did that. It ain't going nowhere. That's just for looks. It ain't going nowhere. It's got one that bit in. Looks good to me. Oh, that ain't that much difference. Now I'll cut these pieces. Uh, this this stuff, I gotta get my multi-tool, cut this flush, and then maybe hit this with the uh, sandpaper and get this piece on. And then all I need to do is put my trim, my black trim in here, and we're good to go. This is the only thing I haven't finished in this office and I was waiting for this because I didn't know what I was doing at the time. I still don't know what I'm doing, but that's all right. We wing it, that's how you live life, winging it. All right, man, I was so sick of looking at that doorway without trim. Now we got trim on it. I'm gonna have to redo this because the problem is, I'm, I'm not gonna do it right now, but I'll, I'll wait. So I get me a piece big enough to cut. This was one of the spare pieces he gave me and it's not the same uh, thickness. It's not half inch like this stuff. So what I'm getting is a little ledge up here. Uh, you know, it's, it's not as, it, if it was half inch like this, it would come out and meet perfectly. And I don't like that. So we're gonna leave it for now, move on to something else. Uh, 
And something else I've been thinking about in here, let me show you. Is that my thumb? Get out of there, thumb. I do have the laser machine. They are very mad at me because I haven't done my second video. Well, I just ain't had time. Or the, or the you know, I'll get to it. I want to make some like corner pieces here and have have laser engraved uh, whatever I come up with there. Maybe all matching or different things. I don't know. But that's something I can add later because I was going to put those and then I'm like, well, why don't you wait? Then put a real nice design, a custom design with your laser uh, engraver. And that would be nice. I could even do cutouts. I don't know where that uh, piece is I have, but it'll cut out wood. It would look nice. So that's something I can do in the future. But here's what we got so far. We are, I, yesterday I had to cut some more. I took all this stuff off. I cut me some pieces and filled in there. This is where the old door was for the back door. And I'm just, I'm waiting. I got to paint that. So I can't put trim up there. So I, I guess we're done with it as far as we can go for now. So maybe start on the ceiling. And then I'm going to get that painted maybe tonight. Yeah, I think we're done. So let's move on to the ceiling. That's going to be, uh, I think I'll start in here. And go from there there we go all right i had to test the waters before i started filming that's what i'm going for that looks good i was wondering how the half inch would do versus the three quarter inch but it it looks much better i think and it does fine so basically when you put one up there it pulls all that metal tight and them screws go right in even if you don't have studs it goes through that metal pretty simple and pulls it all tight, pulls it all down even. And so what I'm going to do is go around the whole perimeter. Well, I'm going to go to here. Yeah, I'll have to go back there before. Now this cabinet, I'm going to I'm going to bring all the way to the top. I'll probably just put a couple of cabinet doors up there. So this will be covered. You won't see any of that old wood back there. That'll be covered up. But I'm going to continue along, obviously skipping that, and uh, just get it where I can. And that's going to help me figure out if I can, you know, I'm either going to use the same width pieces, uh, five and three quarters going across, or I'm probably going to have to go smaller, like four inches. And I think that's probably what I'm going to have to do because... Like I said, I did when I hang them hung them slats, and I and I want a smaller box pattern. I think, I think I'm going to have to go with that to get. That's why I want to get the outside perimeter first, so I can shoot some measurements, do a little math, and see what what size works out the best. Because I do want to cover all these screws. So, for example, if I was to put another strip here, look at this big wide area I got here, which would be fine. But it's, and it's pretty close here, but then the math doesn't add up here. So I should have put one, I don't know. We'll have to, let's get the perimeter on and then we'll, we'll see what works best. I wouldn't mind doing the four inch pieces. That might look, that might look good. But, uh, looks nice. Cedar looks nice. And a lot of places, uh, Cedar, you can't get it. And a lot of people, oh, don't waste that. Cedar is a dime a dozen here. It's cheap. It's probably the cheapest thing we can build with. Although it's not great for building everything. But it's plentiful here. We got sawmills every other corner. If you were to go to the local Home Depot or Lowe's here and find if they had cedar, which they probably got some. They don't usually have a lot. They would charge you a fortune for it because they act like cedar is gold but it isn't just that it's all their stores across the nation uh when i worked in printing we would print big chain stores and when you got to a new city uh, you would have to change the plates and the prices because the prices fluctuate depending where you live and that's the case with cedar but it should be low here i wouldn't i wouldn't give them a nickel for cedar and lowe's or home depot here all right, I'm going to have a couple sandwiches and uh, start. This shouldn't take me long. This will probably be my, this is going to have to be more than one piece. 
I'm going to have to come here, go back, uh, and I didn't plan on that. That should cover that easy. I might have to build that up a little. Nah, it'll be alright. And then pieces there. My arm's hurting. Alright, we'll see how it goes. Look at you lazies. Yeah, do you like, have you, are you, have you used, been using your new bowl that I got you? Or are you scared of it? Look at that lazy boy. It is a beautiful day, 65 degrees, and you guys are in here like old dogs. We are old dogs, Kenny, we are. Goofballs. Got them that new bucket, and when the water started going, blum, 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 that one there ran out. But I think they've been drinking out of it. Yeah. Because you guys drink a lot of water inside. I had to get you something else. I know. All right. Well, I wanted to get a ton of work done today, but uh, ain't going to happen. Kind of tweaked my back a little bit. Not bad, but enough to, I know if I get up on a ladder, it's going out. So I'm going to spend the rest of the day resting, man. This sucks. I want to get this done. All I did was get up out of my chair after I ate lunch, and I felt it. And I can't find a back brace anywhere. I'd probably try, but I know when it's time to quit. So, you come on out of here. You guys go outside. Oh, what are you trying to do? You're not allowed in. You're not allowed in here. Watch out. Watch out. No, you're not coming in. Go on outside. I got to figure out how to get this saw back in. We'll do that later. Yeah. Where's your sister at? There she is. What are you doing, Melly? Melly Mo. What are you doing? Come here. Well, I got to gotta show them you're still here. You guys are goofy. You're going to have to put your heads up here. I ain't bending over. Yeah. All right, guys. Hopefully, I'll be all right tomorrow. Get back at it. I'm just not going to take any chances because I'm taking care of somebody else's dogs this week. I can't risk not being able to do it. So, that's all I got for now. Happy trails.